There's a fantastic line that sums up the entire message behind this movie. I wonder if the world still exists if I choose to ignore it. My name is Aubrey Parker, and I think I might be the last person left. Hello! Starfish is the directorial debut of A.T. White. It stars Virginia Gardner as Aubrey Parker, a young girl struggling to pick up the pieces after the death of her best friend. Oh, and also the world's coming to an end. I phrase that humorously, but honestly, that couldn't be further from the mood of this movie. Starfish is actually profoundly moving and honest for a film about extra-dimensional monsters and world-saving mixtapes. Like, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it, I really do think this might end up being one of my favorites of the year. Funny story, I actually saw this movie back in March during its limited theatrical run, and I was able to absorb exactly none of it because the drunk couple next to me wouldn't shut the fuck up for the entire runtime. And that stopped me from being even slightly immersed in this world. And make no mistake, this is a film whose world you absolutely need to be pulled into. I was able to watch it last night in the comfort of my room with all my lights off, and let me tell you, I am so glad I did. This entire film centers around Aubrey coping with the death of her friend Grace and what that does to her view of the world and how she's supposed to move on after it. And honestly, the lo-fi and oppressive sense of melancholy that this movie captures is probably one of the most honest filmic depictions of loss I've ever seen. When you lose someone you love, all the life drains out of your world and everything feels so empty and lonely and helpless. And this entire movie captures that in such an abstract way that's both incredibly beautiful and incredibly sad. The only true lively feeling moments in the movie are the moments when we're getting to listen to the mixtapes that Grace left behind. The moments where the incredible indie soundtrack kicks in and for a brief moment we're allowed to remember that there's joy and life in the world and we're able to get some key insight into Aubrey and Grace's relationship. This movie isn't very dialogue heavy at all. In fact, most of what we hear is just sound design and the soundtrack itself. A.T. White, who also composed for the movie, his musical score is so poignant. And when you combine it with Virginia Gardner's facial acting, it says so much without needing to say anything at all. The mixtapes and the musical score here do more for the movie than dialogue ever could, and that's what makes this so damn impressive. This is by far the most adventurous directing debut I've ever seen. There's a full-on anime-style, gorgeously animated sequence in the middle of this movie that somehow feels completely at home with the rest of it. Like, the visuals here are simply absurd. It's not even fair how pretty this movie is. There's a specific scene involving a rather large creature that reminded me so much of Gareth Edwards' monsters that I wanted to cry. Like, this movie is just so impeccably well shot that it's a work of art. Starfish doesn't waste its time explaining its somewhat convoluted plot to you, but it doesn't really need to. This is a movie that solely cares about pulling you into Aubrey's world and making you feel her emotions. It's less of a cohesive narrative and more a raw, emotional journey. The entire story is a metaphor for finding purpose and using that purpose to heal after a traumatic loss. Aubrey feels guilty that she wasn't there for her friend as she was dying. And the entire movie is her coping and healing from that through the lens of the end of the world. Now whether the apocalypse in this movie is real or metaphorical is up to interpretation, but also I don't feel it really matters because her journey is all the same either way. There are certain elements in here that I don't fully understand, sure, for example the character or concept of Edward. At one point, Aubrey admits to cheating on somebody, but it's not really clear who she's talking about. Did Aubrey cheat on Grace with Edward, or did she cheat on Edward with someone else? I would assume it's the former, because I got something of a romantic vibe from the girls, and the content of the mixtapes definitely paints the love as something more romantic than platonic. But again, I don't really feel that that explanation would have changed too much for me, because in the end, loss is loss. It doesn't matter the relationship to the person. If someone you love dies, it's going to be painful all the same. The one thing that I'm sure will turn some people off to this movie is the pacing, because this movie is slow, but it's very deliberate. White doesn't care about unfolding an action-packed story that gets right to the point. It's not about that. It's about the experience. It's about being fully immersed in Aubrey's world. And on that level, the movie succeeds in spades. I'm gonna say that Starfish is absolutely a must-see. It's a beautiful metaphorical film about grief and how we cope with it and put ourselves back together. Kind of like seven pieces of a mixtape that are necessary to save the world. And 
honestly, I loved it far more than I thought possible. Definitely check this out if you can. It's out on VOD right now. It might be out on DVD, I'm not sure, but if it is, I definitely need to buy it. I definitely don't think it's for everyone, but for those of you who can appreciate an art film that's also cosmic horror and romance and drama all bundled together, I think you will love this movie. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, click down there, like, comment, subscribe. I have a Patreon now. The link is down in the description. If you want to be like any of these cool people right here, please consider donating. I would really appreciate it. Even a dollar would help. It helps us make new, better quality content for you all to enjoy. But even if you don't, I appreciate it anyway. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon. People are going to die anyways, but... Their stories don't have to.